And it's not that I say that we will never have sea ice again, but we have to adapt to the situation that we don't have sea ice now. And the worst thing we can do is to panic about it. It is reality. Let's get the best out of it. And then let's try to avoid at the same time that it gets worse. And if we even can get it to back to the old status, then it would be fine as well. When I was living here in the uh, 1990s, I had a pack of dogs and every weekend I went out to catch shark on uh, the sea ice or fish or whatever. Then in the winter 1995 to 1996, there was suddenly no sea ice during the winter. A completely change in the entire, uh, in the entire system up here. If you think of that as a hunter in this town, one of the consequences is, of course, that it's a completely different way of living. It does no longer make sense to have dog sledges in this town because there's no sea ice to go out on. So they have replaced the dog sledges with uh, boats and they go out with the boats during uh, the winter. But it's also, it's complicated for them. If we actually turned the perception around and said to ourselves, what could, can we learn from these people living in this town to um, instead of being paralyzed by not being able to find the full answer, then testing a bit around and see, but what can we do in a situation like this then? Uh, because that would be fruitful for us in many ways. We, we would also reduce the stress level and stuff like that. M many different things.